welcome to 15 minute crafts my name is Claire and today we're going to be making remembrance day crafts like this lovely remembrance poppy that I've made and hung on my aloe vera plant you could do the same you could put these lovely remembrance poppies in your garden or in your windowsill so that the light shines through them and what you will need for today is paint red and black you'll need some string i've just got wool as string scissors and an old bottle in the recycle bin and you're going to use the end of your bottle so what you will need to do is take your scissors and you're going to cut the end of your bottle off and you can get rid of this end she'll be left with something like this and luckily a lot of bottles like pot bottles and water bottles already have these lovely engravings in them that kind of look like a floral shape anyway so we're going to work into that cut around and into it a little bit so neaten it up And then I'm going to work into it with some little lumps. I'm going to cut little shapes, like petal shapes, right round the outside. Like a bit of a zigzag shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go, and you will have a wrinkly edge around the top, and that is going to be your poppy base. So, once you've done this, we're going to paint. So I'm going to take the red paint, and I'm just going to splash it on. Fill the entirety of the inside of this bottle. right up to the edge and it will start looking just like a poppy amazing okie dokie now our traditional poppies have a black centre so I'm now going to take my black paint and just put a really simple blob in the middle like so make it a bit bigger and there poppy number two done so we're going to make a few more because I want to fill my tree with remembrance poppies so there's another one and we're going to neaten this up again zigzag a little bit around my edges to create petal shapes just subtle ones you don't have to add too many zigzags just nice little curvy zigzags every other space right the way around lovely I'm going to go back in with the red now the paint I'm using is acrylic because acrylic is quite nice and thick and it's really pigmented so the red is a lovely bright red 
but you can use whatever paint you have at home poster paint is absolutely fine it might just be a little bit thinner so you'll have to double up on your layers with it but it's all the same and sometimes the thinner the paint is the more effective the paint will look in light so if you wanted to hang these in your window the sun will shine through the paint really beautifully there's another poppy done we'll pop the center in this one beautiful there's another and we'll do a last one and then we'll hang them up with our string Neatening it up. Like so. And then we're just going to add our little petals around the outside. Let me go from this side. One, two, three. Okay, and we're going to add the red paint again all over the inside, right up the edges. Once that nice that's nice and filled, we'll add our poppy center. Amazing. And there we have three beautiful poppies. Now, I want to be able to hang these up on my aloe vera plant so I can display them. So if you have a hole puncher, you could put a hole through these, but I don't have a hole puncher to hand. So I'm going to use my scissors again, and I'm just going to cut in a little nib. Just a little hole, like a little triangle pull that off and you'll be left with a hole here which your string can go through just at the top there so I have a piece of string here I'm gonna thread it through you might want to wait till your poppies are dry to do this so it's not as messy I'm going to do a knot at the top, like a hanging Christmas decoration. Neaten it up, get rid of the excess string that you don't need. And there is a beautiful remembrance poppy hanger. So I'm going to add these to my plant. I'm going to make a few more. Do my hole, one, two, like a triangle. And there you will be left with a hole at the top. 
another piece of string, thread it through, bit fiddly this bit but it's worth it, lovely, I'm going to do a knot at the top of my string, neaten it up, get rid of the excess string, there's another one, and the last poppy, another hole in the top, thread and tie in a knot neaten it up and there is the final poppy on my plant lovely and you can um, you could hang yours in a window so that the sun shines through it creates like a mosaic effect or you could add a badge to the back of them which you can buy online like the backs of badges and you could wear these as your very own remembrance poppy So thank you for joining us today. If you've enjoyed this and if you're making your own at home, please do tag whatever you've been making with photos online at The Old Courts and hashtag 15 Minute Makes. Thank you very much. If you've enjoyed watching The Old Courts live and you'd like to make a donation to support the work we do, please head over to www.theoldcourts.com forward slash donate. This year has been incredibly difficult for most arts organisations and we're no different. But with a huge effort and support from you and from our funders, we've managed to secure our organisation and the jobs of every staff member. We've also provided 343 artists with paid work for the Old Course Live. And our volunteers have delivered over 700 food parcels and made 600 calls to isolated local residents. But a battle isn't over yet. We're currently closed to the public with zero income and we don't know how long this closure is going to last. If you can help by making a donation, then you're helping to secure your art centre. We're hoping to be around for a long, 